Hello everybody, it's Lindsay here. Um, I've decided that I am going to do another one of my coral reef series, this time on a big canvas. This one is, how big is this? I can't even remember. 24 by 30 inches, um, gallery wrapped, thick, heavy duty canvas. I am so excited. I went to Michael's and they had them buy one, get one half off, and they just got a shipment in. So I may have bought about $500 worth of canvases, really a thousand because they were buy one, get one half off. So I am all set to do a whole bunch of big pours now. Lots of people were interested in my coral reef uh, paintings and I really love them too. So I'm just going to kind of stick with these for now and do some big ones and just see how it goes. Hopefully I can um, make them look just as good on a big, big canvas. And I've been itching to do some big pieces. So this is just perfect. So I'm not quite ready to do this. Last night I spent probably almost two hours mixing up paints. So I have my turquoise for my background all mixed up. Now this is um, with Floetrol. I do one part paint to two and a half parts Floetrol and then I add water to get it to a pretty fluid consistency. Um, and I can show you the consistency when I do it if you're interested. Um, it's kind of something that after you watch a whole bunch of videos from different people and you just practice, practice, and then you learn kind of what works. And for me, if the consistency is a little bit off, as long as all of your paints are consistently the same, it will be more successful. Otherwise, you may lose some paints. They may sink to the bottom if they're more heavy. And that by far is, I think, the most important. And I usually test my colors by dropping a little bit on a piece of paper and like in a row, all the colors, a little dab, and then I tip it up and watch them drip and see if they run at the same same uh, speed. Anyway, so this pour that I did doesn't have a ton of colors. Usually I use a lot more, um, but it, I really like um, how it worked. So I also have uh, purple. The majority of my paints are Amsterdam. Uh, this is permanent blue violet by Amsterdam and then um, because all the paint is really hard to get right now I've been experimenting with different paints to get colors that I like which is kind of good because I find out some cool things out there that I wouldn't have necessarily tried so my blue the dark bluey gray I'm using actually a folk art navy blue and last time I mixed it with a gray like a light gray Amsterdam to get so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna adjust this blue color to a little bit lighter so I got my turquoise for the background that blue I showed you and then I have of course white Amsterdam white all mixed up and this is the 24 karat gold that I just got because I was hearing everybody talk about this. I have tons of metallic paints in different brands, but this one just has, this is a, just a deco art. And I think it's really hard to get because lots of people that do this um, acrylic pouring, it's really popular with. So yeah, so those are my colors, the turquoise, the dark navy, blue gray, purple and white and gold if I didn't already say that. So I'm going to pause this, I'm going to add water and get these all to the right consistency and then I will be back. Also to mention, my son is writing a song right now. He's big on music and I told him I would feature his song in the background. Maybe I'll try to figure out how to go into like a time lapse when I'm doing the pour and stuff and I can play his song in the background. So yeah. That's what's going on. So I'm excited to see what he comes up with. See you later. Say. Hello again. So I've been spending the last long time making um, my paint the right consistency. And I just wanted to show you how I test it 
to make sure. So I put a whole bunch of little dots of paint on this piece of paper. I have a few cups of blue because I didn't have a container, so I'm testing all the blues to make sure they're right. Anyways, um, it's going to come around this way. So what I do is I just go like this. Check. They need to be more fluid, so I'm going to have to go and mix some more water. I just know by watching, after a while you get better at um, just kind of what you need. So I kind of want them to be a little more fluid than that. I can show you the consistency <clears throat> that that is. Let me just grab one of my paints. So this is my turquoise base. And you can see when I pull the paint up, it runs pretty fluid and it leaves a tiny bit of a mound and it drips for probably about five to six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it kind of goes up. So I kind of like it at a consistency where it doesn't leave a mound. It kind of goes and then it just goes into its own. So it's almost there. It just needs a little more water. So, and see how it leaves a bit of a trace? I still want a little bit of a trace, just not quite that much. And I want the paint to just kind of. It's very close. It needs to be just a little more fluid. So, I'm going to go do that and then I'll be back. Hello, back again. So I think I got my paints at a good consistency. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I just realized I need another um, <laughs> garbage bag or I'm gonna drip probably. And this canvas is really big. I'm hoping I don't drip onto the floor. I'm actually set up in my son's room right now because, hey Google, volume one please. Um, normally I have my art stuff in the living room, in the corner, I have like a little art corner until my studio is built. But right now, because we're getting our electrical done, I had to pack all my art stuff up and I took over my kid's room. He's happy because he gets to sleep with me and his dad's on the fold out. So he's pretty stoked about that. Um, anyways, I'm liking being in this bedroom because dog hair doesn't get in here. So that's a bonus. I don't have to vacuum every time before I paint. Um, and also the smells don't go out into the main house. So that's a good thing too. I'm super excited about my um, studio though. That'll be great when that gets done. It's still a long ways away, but it's in the works. Right now, it is snowing like crazy outside. We've had like over a foot of snow in Victoria, and which is unusual for us. Although the last few years we have had big snowfalls, but that's not typical. Quite often we'll get snow up island and we hope for it and then nothing happens here. But um, I should turn you around and show you outside, but I'm just too awkward, I'll probably end up not being able to get the phone back up quite right, so I'm not gonna go there. Anyways, I'm hoping my consistencies are right. I don't know why I'm second guessing myself. I guess because I just haven't done a canvas this big before. So I'm getting kind of nervous about it. But it's all good. If it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. I've learned a lot about fluid paint um, and letting go is a big lesson for me because to try to be a bit of a perfectionist and um, you know to, to live in the moment you just need to let go and not worry about all the little details and to be perfect and all of that so easier said than done right okay here goes nothing
What's up? 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 What's up?